everyone. Please let this be a normal field trip. With a frizz? No way! Aww. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood. Surfing on a sound wave. Swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine. Take your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. Navigate a nostril. <laughs> Climb on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn to. Take that. On our magic school bus. Rock the river of lava. A magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. Whoa. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. little guy. Food fit for a spider. Fruit fly number 286, number 287, number 288. So far, this hamster run measures 15 feet 6 inches. Or 4 meters and 72 centimeters. Hmm, how do you think you'll like it here? No, nope, not here. <laughs> we made it, Bella! Bella! Wanda, need some help? Thank you, Miss Frizzle. Oh, don't mention it. You know, Miss Frizzle, I was really glad when you said I could bring my best friend Bella the Bullfrog to school. Phew! Between you and me, I don't think she liked being cooped up in my bedroom. Ah, <gasps> oh, did Bella need more space in her home, Wanda? Absolutely! Our classroom is so perfect! Lots of space! I hope you don't mind, but I brought a few things to make Bella feel more at home. Well, Wanda, an animal's habitat is its home. Uh, Wanda? Excuse me, but that's my desk. Arnold, today is your lucky day! So, why don't you and Bella get acquainted while I unpack her stuff? Bella! Okay, but she better not give me trouble. All right, let's see now. Hmm, there! What is this? Her beanbag frog. It keeps her company. Hmm, I'm sure Bella will be very hoppy here. Get it? Hoppy? <laughs> Carlos! <laughs> Thing is, when Bella gets too hoppy, she knocks things over. Aha! 1,076, 1,077... So I think if we... Hey, watch out! Clear! <clears throat> a nice big space for her. She won't get in anyone's way. Uh-uh, Wanda. No way you're moving the rabbits. They've just settled down into their habitat. They've got their water, their food, and their shelter. Okay, Tim. But if Bella hops on their roof, don't blame me. Bella meet Rock. Rock meet Bella. Bella! No doubt about it. You two were meant for each other. So, Bella, what else do you need? A little fresh air? Bella! Arnold, can you bring that pool back over here? Stay! Thanks, Arnold. Your desk is where I'm putting Bella's swimming pool. Swimming pool? Of course! Everyone knows frogs need water. So start blowing. She's right, Arnold. But this desk is part of my habitat, and I like it dry. Arnold, trust me, you'll love having Bella here. Now blow. <gasps> okay, Bella, welcome to your happy new home. Bella? Huh? Okay, Arnold, where's Bella? Over there, with my rock. Where? Where? Out the window! Arnold, did you open it? Well, yes, but I thought she could use some air. What? Nice one, Arnold. Why would Bella leave? It's so 
perfect here. Maybe she needed more from her habitat than a duck mug and a beanbag shaped like a frog. Tim, those were her special things. I've got to find her. And you've got to help me. What? Wanda? Miss Frizzle, could we be excused to go look for Bella? Oh, that's an excellent idea, Wanda. In fact, why don't we make it a... Oh, no! Field trip. I think I should have stayed home today. I think Bella should have stayed home today. How are we ever going to find her? She could have hopped anywhere. Not exactly anywhere, Wanda. As I always say, to find a frog, be a frog. Be a frog? Oh, no. That means we're going to shrink. Whoa! Take it easy! Miss Frizzle, maybe Bella just hopped out to find some food. Oh, that is definitely a speculation worth consideration, Wanda. What kind of food? Cornflakes? Mallow blasters? Bugs, Arnold. Ew. Maybe we should hop to the nearest bug habitat and have a look. Oh, what do you say, class? Uh, Miss Frizzle, do we have to hop? Everybody out! Where are we? Phew, we stopped! Bella! Bella! Where are you? Bella! Wanda, be quiet! You'll scare her away! Thanks to you, she's already away, Arnold. The question is where? Bella! Bella? <gasps> Hop along, class! Two by two, please. Woohoo! Here we go! <laughs> hey, this place is crawling with frog food. Whoa! Whoa! Mm. Mm. Do we have to keep talking about food? Oh, sorry, Ralphie. But food is one of the things all plants and animals need from their habitats. So, Here's the food, Arnold. Where's Bella? I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, look! It's a Felis Catus. Miss Frizzle! Oh, this is an excellent opportunity to study the predatory behavior of cats. Go, go! Go, go! go let's get out of here! Oh, if you insist. Here we go. Wanda, it's just a little mishop. Carlos! Oh, not a mishop, Carlos. A tree is a wonderful habitat. According to my research, it's a perfect place for birds and squirrels. Yeah, it gives them a safe place away from cats to build their nests. Oh, look. Baby squirrels. But I don't want baby squirrels. I want Bella. And there's not enough space for her here. There's no food. Besides, where would she put her swimming pool? Well, I don't know. How about over there? Very funny, Ralphie. Come on, Arnold. Let's see if we can see it from up here. But Wanda... There she is. Look! Bella! Bella! Wait! Bella! Wanda, wait! Be careful! Wanda! What do we do now, Wanda? Wasn't Bella, Wanda? So, I knew that. Then, 
Why are we here? Wanda, Arnold, I can't have you two hanging out here all day. Come along now. We're here. But is Bella here? Because if she isn't, Arnold. Look, Wanda. Water. And bugs. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, class? Does this spot have everything Bella needs? So far, so good, Miss Frizzle. Water, space, bullfrog food. Then Bella must be here. Bella! Whoa! Observation, Ralphie. Bullfrogs need quiet water to lay their eggs in. So, all we have to do is find quiet water. Just as I thought. It can't be too far away now. Wow! What is that? One of my favorite birds. It's an Ardea Herodias. A great blue heron. Look how it soars. What grace, what style. What does that have to do with Bella? Well, Wanda, as I always say, look for connections. Arnold, you look for connections. I'm looking for Bella. Bella, where are you? That's it. I'm sorry, but I can't take the pressure. Aw, uh, come on, Arnold. We can do it. Yeah, think connections. Connections. Um, uh, food. Fight! No, no, no. Start over. Um, bugs? Food. Fight! Carlos! We give up, Miss Frizzle. What's the connection? Try this, class. Where do herons live? In the heron habitat, of course. And where do beavers live? Beavers? Herons? Beavers? Where is all this going? The question is, Arnold, where are they all going? A beaver pond! Wait a minute! The water in a beaver pond is nice and quiet! This place has everything Bella needs. Food, space, and quiet water. She's got to be here. And when I find her, I'm never letting her out of my sight again. Bella! Wanda, not so loud. Look, guys. The beavers are working on their dam. They're making their own habitat. Bella! There she is! Wanda, do you always have to shout? Hang on, Bella! I'm coming! Bella! Oh, Bella, it's so good to see you. I missed you so much. Look, I brought your beanbag to remind you of home. Uh, is it just me, or does that heron look hungry? Yes! <laughs> What is it with you, Arnold? Can't you see I'm talking to Bella? Okay, now where were we? Bella? <gasps> what? Of course 
I am. But where's Bella? Bella! There she is, Wanda. She's fine. Bella! Okay, that's it. We're all in one piece. Time to go. Not until I get my frog. But Wanda, look at the facts. A beaver pond is Bella's natural habitat. It's the right place for her to live. Right? You call this right? But where are the comforts of her home? Her plastic duck mug, her swando. Bella doesn't need all that stuff. Let's go. Arnold, stop pushing me. Look, Juan, this place has everything Bella needs. Delicious food. Beautiful calm water to swim and lay her eggs in. Lily pads to sit on. And lots of space to hop around in. Bella. This may have everything Bella needs, but it also has something she definitely does not need. Plants are eaten by insects. Insects are eaten by fish and newts and bullfrogs. And fish and bullfrogs and newts are eaten by herons. They're all part of the same pond food chain. Don't you get it, Arnold? Bella's in danger! Not necessarily, Wanda. The heron might eat Bella, if it could catch her. And I might have an anxiety attack if we don't get out of here. Forget it, Arnold. I will not leave Bella here to get speared by a heron. <clears throat> Bella, there may not be as much space at school. Ugh. Or the right kind of bugs. <sighs> or a pond full of water. <clears throat> but at least there's no heron there. Wanda. Do you really want to take Bella away from her habitat? She belongs here. Well then, if Bella belongs here, so do I. Oh, Wanda. And my friends can help me watch out for the heron. Come on, Wanda. Get real. You almost got yourself drowned. Don't worry, Wanda. Bella's in her own habitat. And we're going home to ours. It's the heron! Hide! Bella! Don't worry! I'll protect you! Oh no! Not again! I can't find her anywhere. Hey, if we can't find Bella, then maybe... The heron can't either. <gasps> Come on, let's get out of here. Are you guys okay? Is the heron gone? It flew away. Thank goodness you're all right. Well, Wanda, did you manage to protect Bella? We didn't have to, Miss Frizzle. You should have seen her. Bella used her habitat and hid. An important part of a frog's habitat is a good place to hide. I knew that. Bella, way to hide. Herman. Herman? Herman? Bella. Well, what do you know? Bella has a friend. Bella and Herman. How romantic. Oh, no. We'll never get two frogs back to school. Bella. You're right, Arnold. So I'm not even going to try. You're... you're not? You guys were right. If I really love Bella, and I do, I have to make sure she has everything she needs. And it's all here. Space, food, quiet water, shelter from herons, and Herman. <laughs> Herman. Bella. Soon there will be the splisher splasher of little tadpoles. Oh, I love hoppy endings, don't you? Carlos! <laughs> so, let's go now. Only no more hopping, okay? No, wait! Wanda, now what? Relax, Arnold. I just want to say goodbye. Herman. Bye, Bella. I know you're going to have a good life here. But 
I am going to miss you. Bella. Bella. Yeah, I know you'll miss me too. And I know you don't need this, but here's something to remember me by. And watch out for the great blue heron, okay? Bella. Ah, there we are, Wanda. All finished. Thanks, Miss Frizzle. Okay, Arnold, you can have your desk back now. Thanks. Ah, it sure feels good to be back in my own habitat. Food, water, a roof over my head, linoleum. Linoleum? <sighs> What's wrong, Wanda? Got the bullfrog blues? Surprise! What's that? Oh, it's a Rana Katie's Biana no hopium out of the window kiss. A what? A frog that won't hop out of the window. And listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I love it. And you know where I'm going to keep it? Right where Arnold's desk is. Now, wait a minute, Wanda. Wait just one minute. Just a few trees and... Now, where's that pool? Arnold, move that over here. Oh, as I always say, habitats are meant to be shared. Wanda, we already did this. Now, where did I put that duck mug? Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? 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 I want the magic school bus! 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 I know you're going to have a good life here, but I am going to miss you. Bella! Bella! <laughs> Hello? Is this the producer of the Magic School Bus? Yes. Yes, it is. Good, because I have some questions. Well, shoot. Since when can a bus shrink and sprout legs like a bullfrog? <laughs> Since the scriptwriter wrote it in for the purposes of this episode, so you admit it can't really happen. Well, not in the world as we know it, no, but... And what about the business of a stream turning into a pond? That takes ages, does it? Well, it can take anywhere from weeks to years. But on this show, it only took minutes. Hey, if we'd taken any longer, you, you would have changed channels. Maybe, maybe not. And the stuff about beavers making their own habitat. We humans do that too, don't we? That's my lunch. Um, yes, sometimes humans and lizards change habitat so quickly that animals and plants and producers. Whoa! Ooh. Don't have time to adapt or move. So, how's Bella doing in her new habitat anyway? Um, well, <laughs> she's doing just fine, thanks. Just fine. Great. Well, thanks very much for your time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Here, can I help you with that, Liz? Just want to keep everybody happy. Get it, Liz? Happy. <laughs> Surfing on a sine wave, 
swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine. Take your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. Navigator nostril. Climb on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn to. Take that. On our magic school bus. Drop the river of lava. A magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on the magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wilder ride. Come on, ride right on, on the magic school bus. <laughs>